So this is Ashish Sharma, who is working as the deputy, uh, the deputy editor for Mail Today, which is a part of the India Today group. All right. So Ashish, can you give us a brief outline of your career and what your main motivation was to pursue journalism? Yes, Johan, I can tell you, I have been a journalist now for 25 years and I've been mostly a print medium journalist, although I've had a small stint with television as well. But uh, I began because I wanted to write in newspapers. That was my primary motivation. And I have done that mostly throughout my career. I've also worked with two magazines, which is India Today, and also the Sunday magazine of Hindustan Times, which is called HT Brunch. And uh, I've enjoyed both uh, writing in newspapers as well as magazines. And I enjoy writing features more than I do news stories. All right. So can you give us uh, some advice on what it takes to be a good journalist and what advice you have for students who are looking to pursue a career in journalism today? Okay. So see, I have not been on the hard news side of journalism, but uh, so I've not done hard reporting. I have worked mostly on the editing desk and I've, I've worked on the features side. So to be a good editor, you have to be diligent. You have to be really aware of what is happening around you. Be on the ball with the latest news developments and uh, try and keep the language simple so that the readers can understand it. Not, not make it very ornamental because ultimately a newspaper is a mass product. So it should be, the message should be delivered simply and uh, to the best extent, most direct. In feature writing, although it gives a little more scope for uh, ornamental writing, for uh, good writing, you can try various techniques of writing. So that's where, where you can be experimental and in my case, I have enjoyed features more than I have done news. So you've got to have a passion for reading. And also, you should always try and improve. There's no end to learning. It's been 25 years and I'm still learning. So read more, read many more books, and uh, try and improve your own writing. That would be my advice for newcomers. All right. So with the advent of social media and platforms such as Twitter, how do you think that has impacted journalism? And um, what do you have to say about it? Okay, see, social media has been around for the last uh, decade or so, which has been more popular. But it's still a very small percentage of uh, people in India who are using it. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a bubble. And uh, at one point, uh, priorities were misplaced to have as many followers as you could have, or be influencers. But uh, in India, I think the real power of journalism still stays with the print medium. And uh, social media is there. So it's quite uh, a bubble and it can be toxic as well. It, can, it has its benefits. But I think it's still a very small bubble of what real journalism is. It'll take a few years before it becomes a full-blown kind of a thing where you'll have journalists only writing on social media. It's something to amplify your message, but not the message actually. All right. So thank you, Ashish. Thank you for your input and good luck. Thank you, Johan. It was good talking to you.